I'm your host Dan Rojas and it is that time of year again football season's about to start this video is not about football those numbers that I was barking out in the beginning of the video they're a formula to convert a square into an octagon with all sides being equal there are formulas to do this that are very complicated lots of numbers involved require some geometry you can also take a string and attach it to the corner and go back and forth with a bunch of shapes. There's also an online calculator in the link below that'll get you the same results. That online calculator does everything in feet and inches. Since I buy my two by fours in feet and inches, we're gonna be working with that on this. For you people out there, the rest of the world that uses the metric system, this will actually work better for you because you work in decimal points, so you don't have to deal with 21 30 seconds, 35 60 fourths, it's a lot easier. This is an eight foot by eight foot square, which comes out to 96 inches. It's very accurate. If you measure corner to corner, it is off by just an eighth of an inch. So it's pretty square. Since it's 96 inches across, we're working with the inner portion. We're not working to the outer portion because this is for our water parabola that we're gonna be doing in a future video. Since our two by fours are three and a half inches wide and we have two of them, that makes seven inches. So we have to take 96 and subtract seven which gives us 89. So our inner area is 89 inches. If we multiply 89 inches by 0 0.414, you come up with something that's just short of 37 inches. It's 36.85, which is what I cut this rail to. Point to point, this is just short of 37 inches. That will give you the same length here, all the way around and make a perfect octagon. I have this guy that pops in there and fits perfectly. It fits perfectly down there. It fits perfectly over here. And for the top one, you're just gonna have to trust me. This is a good number for contractors to have on hand at a job site. If you have a client that has a skylight that is square and they wanna convert it into an octagon, all you have to do is measure the inner portion, multiply it by that number, and you know exactly how to cut your 45 degree braces. That second number, if you multiply that by the 89 inches this way, you come up with just over 26 inches. If we take our ruler and we line it up from the inner portion to where the brace ends, it comes out to be just over 26 inches. They're all the same. The reason that number is important, let's say you have a piece of cardboard that you want to cut out and you don't want to do braces. You just want to cut a piece of cardboard that square and convert it into an octagon. Simply multiply the size of your square by that number and you know where your starting point is. By the way, I was the quarterback in that video. My wide receiver is gonna be taking you inside and showing you how to use the second number to take a piece of cardboard that is one meter squared and cut an octagon out of it. He's also gonna be showing you what the third number is for. This board is one meter squared. It's 1,000 millimeters this way, 1,000 millimeters this way. If we take our ruler and put it to the edge and multiply it by the 0 0.2929, you come up with 293 millimeters rounded up because it's very close. So we're going to go 293 millimeters here. I'm going to mark our edge and we're going to do the same for the other corner over there. Now all we have to do is take our ruler and match the two points up and carefully cut it. So this comes off and this should be a 45 because they're the same measurement. I'm going to do the same thing to the other corner over there. We now have two and they should be the same size and they are but what's more important is that their ends should match up to this and if you put it here they match up perfectly so they're right on I'm gonna go ahead and do the last two sides so I cut the final side off and we have four that are identical now this portion here the long portion to figure that out that's what the brace would be outside so that would be multiplied by the 0 0.414 number, which would give you roughly 400 
and 14 millimeters. If you multiply 1,000 times 0 0.414 comes out to 414 millimeters. I'm going to check the edges on this. So it's this one and this one, so they're all the same. So it worked out. That is how you do it. That gives you the edge. All you have to do is multiply it like I showed you and you'll end up with the right numbers. Now the last number, the 0 0.54119, that number will find the perfect center. You have four lines that you can match up. You can take a ruler and go corner to corner and do it all the way around. Where they intersect is gonna be your center. You may not have the luxury to do that on a job site because if it's in a skylight, you don't wanna have strings on everyone. All you need to do is know one line corner to corner. So what we're gonna do is take this, we're gonna draw a line across there. So you take your 1,000 millimeters that you started with, your original square width, and you multiply it by the 0 0.5, and you multiply it by the 0 0.5411 number, which gives you right at 541 millimeters rounding down because the last number is a one. So I'm going to take the ruler and line it up to this edge at 541. Puts our dot right here. And if we come over to this side and line it up, it comes right to 541. So we know that right there is perfect center. So just to double check my work, I'm going to go ahead and crisscross the rest of these. Went right over it. And our final one. intersects right across so perfect center you don't even have to draw all those all you need is one line we take our pen it's perfectly centered this is the easy way to do it you don't require all the geometry and online calculators you can make these you can make a square into an octagon without drawing a bunch of circles all over your board works good and you can find the center with just one line so this is the easy way of converting a square into an octagon whether you're on a job site or you need to build a frame for something or you want to cut something out of cardboard for arts and crafts i'm your host dan rojas i'd like to thank my co-host dan rojas we're going to go play some football thank you for watching and enjoy our videos